Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I'm Sunny with Healing Power Divine Universe, and I am here with a reading on what deceit and hidden agendas are being hidden from you at this time. Before I get started, I ask that you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos, hit that like button, and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. If you would like to donate to my channel, there's a link below where you can donate. I would greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, let's get started here. The High Priestess Intuition. So the High Priestess represents the, the Keeper of All Secrets, um, the Highly Intuitive. Typically, it's a Cancer or a Pisces, um, maybe a Cancer, maybe you're in a Cancer. Uh, Spirit is asking you that you follow your intuition, that you really stand in this High Priestess spot. I know that you probably are the one that's maybe hiding the secrets from someone else. I feel that you're a very intuitive person, that you're able to really see people's hidden agendas through secrets, through lies, and you definitely hold on to those secrets until the time is right to reveal them. A new start is coming, new moon. This might not be such a, a negative reading. I feel that the universe um, is, what the universe is hiding from you is that a new start is coming. If you haven't already stepped into that new start, you're going to be stepping into that new start. Maybe it's something that you have been waiting for for a very long time. Maybe it's something that you've been working for or working towards to to begin a new life, to really have a new um, a new uh, gander at life. I don't know if that's quite the word. I don't know. Gander. I don't typically say gander, but gander came out, so that's what I'm going to say. Uh, the new moon is uh, coming up. Or we just had the full moon, so the next new moon... By the next new moon, you should have a new start. If it is in love, if it's maybe with your career, if it's just in life in general, you should be uh, stepping into this new start by the new moon. Wisdom. With that, I feel that this is strange. This is going to be a different kind of reading. This isn't really where... I thought this reading was going to go. This is going to be a very positive reading, which is a beautiful way for this to go. Maybe things for you haven't been very positive. Maybe people have been working against you. Um, maybe life in general has been working against you. And I think what's being hidden is that you have a new start, a new life um, coming straight towards you. You have gained a lot of wisdom is what I'm hearing from your journey, from all the deceit and hidden agendas that people have had against you in the past. You have really stepped into your power. You have really gained the wisdom, the knowledge, um, the stability that has w was needed during this situation. And with that being said, you are really stepping into your power. You have really stepped into your power already. And I think that the universe is hiding that th the universe is going to hand you a new life, a new beginning, which is really beautiful. I think that there was a lot of hidden agendas against you that people were doing to you there was a lot of deceit but i feel that you stepped into the high priestess spot and you were able to see right through everybody's lies deceit you know hidden agendas uh thievery anything like that the source you are so connected to the source right now the source is is rewarding you because of this hidden agenda this deceit that you have gone through in the past is, is rewarding you because you've really stood your ground is what I'm hearing. You've really grown um, into a person that has a lot of wisdom. That has allowed all this pain, this sorrow, the, anything that has really been negative in your life to help you grow. Help you grow into a beautiful, kind, unconditionally loving person. And because that, Source is right there by your side. Source is making things happen for you that you don't see coming. And it's going to be beautiful things. It's not going to be anything negative whatsoever. We have the higher font. The higher font represents um, traditional values. It represents a wise person that might be giving you advice on your journey, on you know your next steps in life. Also, the higher font uh, to me represents the occult, um, any type of government or agency like organization, religion. Um, 
typically when I read the Hierophant, I look at it as a negative. I think that the Hierophant has been part of your, your journey, has been part of your problem. Some of your um, deceit and hidden agendas was caused from an organization, a religious organization, maybe uh, traditional values in your family that maybe you did not meet the standards of that. Maybe you don't believe in the same uh, traditional values that your family believes in. I feel that you're more of a free spirit, more of a, you know, just at free will. You just do what you want. You are a very loving, kind, gentle person. And when I look at organizations like the Hierophant, I don't see that kind, loving, gentle people. I see people that are are allowing other people to tell them what to do, allowing an organization to run their life, to make the decisions that they, they are being made in their life, telling them which way to go, left or right. And I feel because you never fit into this organization or these traditional values that this is why people have done what they've done to you in the past. I think part of your um, the hidden agenda is that this hair font is being removed from your life. And it could be that there, it's being removed from not your only your life, but your family's life, your friend's life, maybe a, a community full of people. Ascendant, outlook, worldwide, mission statement, expression, effect, role, mark, attitude, outer self, point of view, body image, aura, likeness, approach, impact, first impression, this is a sign of all zodiac signs, so all zodiac signs are definitely strong in this reading. We have the Queen of Dragonflies, which is the Queen of Cups, in which is Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This queen is kind, thoughtful, sensitive woman with a caring uh, nature. I'm hearing that this is where you are. This is you. This represents you even if you are not a water sign. That people have finally seen the truth of who you are. I think this Hierophant had a picture of you painted to be a not so wise person. To not be as connected as you are to the divine. That you weren't kind and loving and gentle. But people in your situation have finally opened their eyes to the truth of the situation and they now know who you are. And who you are is the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Dragonflies. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So Spirit has a lot of plans for you. Spirit is pushing you towards having more growth in your life. You're probably like, holy shit. You should see how much I've changed. I went from being this kind of person to doing this, to reacting to things like this, and to, you know, maybe having addictions and, and so on, to really growing into whom I am now, being on the journey I am, going through the transformation I just went through. But we continue to grow throughout life. We can always continue to grow into much better people, much more unconditionally loving people, kind, gentle we never stop growing, but I think what this card is t saying to you is that source isn't done pushing you to your limits. Source is going to push you harder to continue to grow in the direction that you're growing, which is a beautiful way. Um, source really does count on you to help other people grow. To use you as an example for other people to show them that, you know, life can be very, really difficult. People can be really nasty and do shitty things to people, but we can still continue to grow in our life and grow in a positive direction. Striving. Eventually, the individual's ego's drive to make things happen falls away, replaced with a relaxed, trusting openness to answers as they arise. Thank you, Divine, for letting me move with the flow. So you're learning how to strive in your life. But while you're doing that, you're, you're learning to do it with the ease of flow in your life. Instead of having to climb up those mountains and 
bust through those challenges and obstacles. You are learning how to kind of go with the flow, the ease of life. And that's, this is an amazing reading. Because what's so beautiful about it, and I'm hoping you're understanding what I'm saying, is that all the hidden agendas, all the deceit, all the pain, all the disappointments you've had in your past, this is why you went through it. This is exactly why you have gone through this. Is because it is helping you grow. It has taught you tons of wisdom. It has put you in the high priestess position. And you are very intuitive. You are now the queen of cups, which is kind, loving, gentle. You know, a very good mom, a very good person. You know, goes out of their way to help other people. You're, you have had a ton of growth. You are just growing in all these separate directions, but like a beautiful flower growing in springtime, you're blooming like this beautiful, gorgeous flower. And you're also striving because you've been able to release your ego, check your ego at the door, which has really allowed you to open up to the answers that you needed from source and to be able to grow on your journey through your transformation. Motivation. I am motivated and motivated people help me to improve my finances. So you are becoming very motivated, which is beautiful. Maybe in the past you were you were um, not so motivated. Maybe you were just really depressed. Maybe your situation was keeping you bound to the darkness. You were afraid to make a step. You were afraid to ask people for help or to allow people to help you improve yourself. But now I think that you've opened up, you've really seen the light when it comes to that. And I think that you're recognizing that all people, not all people that are in our life are there to hurt us. So which has allowed you to really start to open up and rely on other people. Maybe you were a type of person that you never would or could rely on anybody in the past. But throughout this transformation, throughout this growth, it has taught you that there are people that truly care about you that will help you and will, will help motivate you to improve your finances. So if you have been struggling financially, I feel that you have really kind of kicked it into gear. You've really became motivated to change that around. Twelfth House Surrenderer. Subconscious Mind. Compassion. Dreams. Karma, forgiveness, baggage, trance state, the unseen, healing, spiritual development, prayer, acoustic records. This is a sign of Pisces, so Pisces is strong in this reading. We have the moon, sign of cancer. So you can see these two dogs barking at the moon. These are two loyal people. Or these are two loyal pets that you have. Even though the moon card comes out, I feel that it's not... Whatever's being hidden from you is not deceitful. It's not, it's not bad. I think what's being hidden from you is that you have a new life coming. And what, what it is is that you are actually going to have all the things that you desired in your life. I think that in the past there was a lot of things being hidden from you that were very dark, were bound to the devil, we're bound to dishonest people, but I think that that truth has been revealed. And now what's being hidden from you is just how great your life is going to be. Just how positive the things that are coming into your life are going to be. Just how positive each step of your life from today on is going to be. That is beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, Prosperity. So... It is. It is your new life, your new way of living, your new way of thinking, um, your rewards from all your hard work is what is being hidden from you. It's nothing bad. It's all positive things are coming into your life. That spirit is hiding from you because they want to surprise you. And I'm ruining it. I'm sorry. But I think it's beautiful. And I think it's amazing how this reading could be titled something so kind of dark and, you know, bound to the darkness. 
could be such a beautiful reading. And what's being hidden from you is that you have a very prosperous life ahead of you. You are going to prosper and you're going to prosper financially. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So an Aquarius could be strong in this reading. But you are really stepping into your power. You are starting to embrace the world again. I think for a long time you have been hidden in the dark. You have been hidden, you know, maybe in hermit mode, you know, trying to avoid other people because you had a hard time trusting people because there was such deceit and hidden agendas in your past. But now you are showing the world exactly who you are. The world is absolutely adoring you. And you are really stepping out of your comfort zone and moving straight towards a lot of stability, a lot of prosperity, a lot of motivation, um, a lot of financial stability. Stepping into this Queen of Cups position and really allowing yourself to be seen for who you are, which is a kind, loving, gentle, unconditionally loving person. We have playfulness. So you're finding your playfulness again. Maybe you're just a really fun, playful person. And with everything in your past, that playfulness was taken away from you. So I think that what Source is trying to tell you is it's time to let that playfulness come back out. To really allow your playfulness to be seen by other people, to be felt, and for you to really step back into having some playfulness in your life. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Page of Wands represents good news, work-related. This also um, is regarding an active, cheerful child. So it could be regarding your child. Or you could just be receiving good news by, um, in your work aspect of your life. Uh, with this, I think that... I think it's both. I think you are being very rewarded. You are definitely going to receive a lot of rewards. And that's what I'm hearing. I think it does have to do with a child, but I also think it, it is work-related. I think that you're going to really prosper in whatever work you're doing. First house self, physical body, outlook, self-image, life philosophy, consciousness, opinions, awakening, self-awareness, arrival, expression, gateway, entry point, Aries, sign of Aries. We have the Hermit in reverse. So this is a sign of Virgo for me. Uh, I was speaking of being the Hermit. I think that you have been in the Hermit stage a very long time. You really stepped away from the world. You really went within. I think that Source had you do that so you could learn all of the things I am speaking about today. So you could gain the wisdom you needed. So you could have the growth that you needed. So that you could learn to strive and check your ego at the door, that you you learn to uh, become motivated and, and allow other people to motivate you to become financially stable and to also rely on other people when you were not able to rely on other people, that not all hidden agendas or deceit are always bad because there are, are some good surprises and good hidden type of things. Um that you need to be more playful in life. You need to enjoy life. Life's too short not to enjoy it. So you are stepping out of this hermit stage straight into life again, straight back into the world. And you're really going to allow the world to embrace the real you. We have death. I, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So it also taught you that even in situations that hurt, if it's relationships, if it is death in a situation death of a person that it's not the ending of our life maybe you before would take it very hard you allowed it to really slow you down to really stop you maybe you were the type of person that would not allow yourself to heal through this you would mask it through drugs and alcohol or anything that would you know not uh, or would help you not feel the pain of death of a situation or person but I think that throughout this transformation and throughout this deceit and hidden agendas from the past, that you have finally realized that death is not an ending. Or death is an ending, excuse me. Um, but it's merely a new beginning, a new way to step into a new life, step through a new door, 
have a new adventure, meet new people, and so on. Love. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so, comp so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I, myself, and love. So it also taught you not to look outside yourself for love. That you have to love yourself first. That you have to have self-love and self-worth before you can step out and try to find love within someone else. Maybe before you were settling for uh, people that truly didn't love you. Um, or maybe they did love you, but they were not healthy for you. I think that be, while you are in hermit mode, you are, have all, learned all this stuff I just spoke of. But the most important thing is you learn to love yourself. And you have proven that to source. And you are going to be rewarded with true love coming into your life. If that is in a romantic sense... Or if that is just with friends and family coming back into your life. But Source knows that you are now able to give yourself self-love. And you know your, your self-love and you know your self-worth. Flow. Again, riches flow into my life in many ways and from many directions. So again, you are going with the flow of life. You are able to finally understand that, you know, when we don't stress, when we kind of just release and surrender to the universe our life will begin to flow in a direction that's going to be way more positive when you're not trying to change the wheels of fate when we're not trying to hang on to somebody that isn't positive or needs to be into our life if we're not um you know reaching points of wanting to be super rich or having all the material things when you just simply surrender to the universe have faith and believe that the universe is going to provide for you, you step into this flow stage. We have the tower. Now, the tower can definitely represent, obviously, um, the source creating a tower because you're, you were living a life that was not built on a firm foundation. Now, the tower also represents Tor Taurus and Aries, excuse me, so they could be provident in this reading. It is um, destruction of something built on, upon a false foundation. I think that you've been hit with many towers in your life. And each tower that hit has taught you the wisdom, has taught you um, the things that you needed to learn. Now, am I saying that you'll never be hit with the tower again? Well, that's kind of up to you. If you use your wisdom and that you have gained through all these situations that you've gone through throughout these towers of course source isn't going to have to come in and and rip it all apart i feel that because you have actually looked at the towers that have hit your life you have actually seen the lessons that you needed to see and have learned through them that you will not be faced with this tower again at least not in the sense of your your foundation being crumbled. I think you now understand that we have to build our life on firm foundations, on honesty, on unconditional love, and we need to build it with people that are like that too. Not with somebody just because we don't want to be alone. Not with somebody just because they want something from us. Not with people that don't um, have an equal give and take as we could we can give and give and give and give to people and never receive anything back but truly we're supposed to be and we need to be receiving love and kindness and generosity back the queen of cups is very very famous for that i am a cancer we love to give we love to give we love to you know be kind, warm, gentle. We love to help people. We love to heal people and so on. And at times we don't receive that back. So with this situation, I think that you were taught a very hard lesson regarding that too. And because you are learning that lesson, you're able to really move on. You're, you're able to really see the truth. Now you stand in your worth, you stand in your power, and you're standing in self-love. Seven of Cups possibility. So there's a lot of possibilities that are going to come your way. There could be seven people 
offering you cups of love. There could be seven people coming straight towards you to offer you that cup of love. You're going to have numerous possibilities when it comes to love. So take your time. Get to know people. Don't just jump on the first bandwagon that comes in. And really, you know, take your time to see which one is really going to be fitting and really going to give you as much as what you're going to give them. The, the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. So it, the answers might be coming in Gemini or during Gemini season. It could be a Gemini that's in your life. You could be a Gemini. But you need to, to know that the answers that you need to, to move on, to prosper, to really grow are coming abundance and this is amazing reading my readings have been so amazing lately i wish i had more subscribers i have such good messages and such good you know just oh i just have this amazing feeling about this reading it just makes me feel very giddy and just really makes me feel happy because i know that everybody that's watching this it has been drawn to watch us and really does deserve this because you've been through a very difficult time you have abundance in your life coming, and that means abundance in everything, financially, uh, abundance in love, abundance in self-love, abundance in self-worth, abundance in your career, abundance with your family and friends. You're being gifted abundance. The outsider, you have been the outsider for too long. You now know that you no longer are the outsider. Again, if you look at this lock right here, it is not locked. You have been the outsider since you were a child, and it's now time to take this lock off and walk right through. You are really going to become the insider. People are really not going to ever treat you as if you were an outsider. People are looking at you differently. People are appreciating you more, and you're really going to embrace this world like you should have since you were a child, but you have been kept on the outside for too long. So now it's your turn to step inside those gates and really embrace the world with your beauty, with your kindness, with your unconditionally love. Justice, sign a Libra. If you are going through any type of justice in a legal court battle or just the universal justice, just know that justice is on your side and justice is going to be served. Just have faith. Know that source is making this happen for you. This might have been coming for a very long time. You might have had an injustice that was just unfair. That might have just ripped your world the fuck apart. But just know that source is making whatever injustices into justice. And that if that's not in a court of law, it is with the universe. Semi-sextile, allowing, encourages, sees the potential in, clarifies, gives hope to, concept. Uh, in twos, excuse me, tempers, responds, cycles, grows, realizes, rewards. This is a sign of Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. We have the three of dragonflies, which is the three of cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This, this stands for happiness and achievement, wedding, or family celebrations. So again, you're going to have a lot to celebrate. Maybe you have... One of these possible cups of love coming towards you that you're going to end up um, engaged to, end up marrying, creating a family with. Maybe you already have a family and just know that your family is going to be coming together and you're going to have a lot to celebrate. We have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect the truth from myself. So you are being granted honesty. There is a lot of honesty coming your way because you are such an honest person. You are now going to reap the rewards of that. Travel. Let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony. May divine order arrange and handle every detail. I'll be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown. So you are going to be traveling Maybe you're going to be traveling with a new love. Maybe you're going to be traveling just on a vacation. Maybe you're just going to travel in general. Maybe you're, that's what you were wanting to do. You want to travel the world, but you are going to be rewarded with travel. Magnetism. I attract and magnetize to me all that I need to get what I want. So you're like a magnet that you're going to magnetize everything to you. Everything is going to come to you and stick to you. 
and never let go. And that means abundance. That means happiness. That means unconditional love, success, playfulness. Anything that is positive is going to come straight towards you and it's going to magnetize to you and never go away. It's never going to be able to be pulled off or taken away from you ever again. And then the last card I have is Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You are going to be able to put down every one of those wands that you have been carrying since you were a child. What an amazing reading. It was beautiful. You know, I really thought that this reading was going to be a negative one, but really what it is saying is what's being hidden from you is this beautiful life that you're going to have that is coming straight towards you that you don't see coming. That because you had so much deceit and so many hidden agendas of people and things in your life that have really created the, these towers in your life, now is your turn for it to all be turned around into positive things and for all this positivity to be coming to you and to be magnetized to you and nobody ever be able to take that away. So with that being said, what a beautiful, amazing reading. I love it. I wish you all a beautiful, loving day, of course. I am sending so much unconditional love, so many positive vibes, healing, and peace to each and every one of you. Also, I want to say congratulations because I know each and every one of you deserve what is coming for you. So, love you all. Thanks again for watching my channel. Peace.